look good in some batter, won't it? For sure. <laughs> good Can't job. Wait. That's a red. Oh. <laughs> I could tell he's stuck and stayed. That's a good fish. I knew it was a good one. Oh, he's going to the front oh, of the boat. No, 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 no. I hit that thing and he didn't budge. I knew it was a red instantly. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it, Jimbo. Gosh, get out of there. Strong fish, man. Ooh, he's gonna be cutting it close. It's a 26 inch right there. All right. That's not the best way to pull him in, guys, but I got him in. Boom, that is a redfish. <laughs> it's about like that one that I lost earlier. It's a good fish. He's gonna be upper slot. <sighs> he might even be over slot. Take a look here and figure it out. Oh yeah, he's 26. 26. He's perfect. Yeah. And as I said earlier, they gotta be between 18 and 27, and right there is a tournament winning fish right there. If you were in a tournament, you want something hefty and thick like that. And he let, let about a half a pound of little uh, white baits out too when I pulled them up. Just threw all kinds of stuff up. Beautiful colors. And if you notice too on the redfish, you see how it has a little bit of a blue tint on the tail there? What they say that's from is from eating a lot of blue crabs. And uh, in this area, there's a ton of blue crabs. So they have a big diet of that. And he was throwing up bait fish too, so they're eating on those as well. I'm excited about that right there. I'd rather pull that in than a trout any day. <laughs> now, I'm enjoying catching all these trout, but that right there was fun. I hit that thing, and as soon as I did, it didn't budge. It just sat there, <laughs> pulling back the other way. Fun stuff. For Jimmy and Louisa, their vacation in Steenhatchie couldn't have been any better. For two full days, Captain Jimbo kept them on the fish, and the trout and reds were practically jumping in the boat. As their vacation winds down, they follow the scenic channels from Dead Man's Bay back to the Steenhatchie River Club. All that non-stop fishing action has got them hungry, and they know just where to take this kind of appetite. Before the long trek home, the crew decides to head to Kathy's Crab Shack, one of the best eateries Steenhatchie has to offer. Kathy's was opened in 2012 by Tom and Melissa Willits, but its namesake was founded over 40 years ago by Tom's mother, Mrs. Kathy. The owners will be the first to tell you that it's all about family here at Kathy's, and family is what keeps this business going. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Kathy specializes in coastal classics, and with every plate, the kitchen staff delivers a deep appreciation for the cuisine. They serve only the freshest ingredients with crabs and shrimp and fish they pull straight from the gulf themselves. But with plenty on the menu for land lovers too, Kathy's Crab Shack caters to everyone. And if you're in need of a place to stay, Kathy's offers rooms to rent too. So next time you're on Florida's nature coast, be sure to stop by and soak in the serene atmosphere and hard earned history of Kathy's Crab Shack. For more info, visit www.kathyscrabs.com. For more fishing and diving action, follow along on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Captain Jimmy Nelson. Living the dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson was brought to you by Salt Life. Live salty.